Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome my dear learners this is a video for the subject of education for the course of bachelor's in education and for the paper of educational technology part 2 this video lecture is based on the emerging technologies and issues in educational technology and in this lecture we will be discussing the advantages and limitations of the learner controlled instruction or LCI. This video lecture is recorded by Dr. Iram Khan. The course coordinator and the presenter of this video is Dr. Iram Khan from Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. The academic expert or the reviewer of this video is Professor Jassi Mehmed from Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. This video is produced under the project DTH Swayam Prabha channels of Ministry of Education, Government of India. Hello dear students, I am Dr. Iram Khan, Assistant Professor at Institute of Advanced Studies and Education, Faculty of Education, Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. Today, we will be continuing a topic related to emerging technologies and issues in educational technology and this topic is going to deal with learner control instructions, different advantages and limitations. So let us start first with the objectives of the session. The objectives of this session are to discuss the advantages of learner control instruction or LCI and also to describe the limitations of learner control instruction or LCI. First, let us see what are the different advantages because every system of instruction has got some good things to offer. So, what exactly are those advantages or the best features we will be discussing one by one. The first advantage which we can discuss is that LCI or learner control instruction provides better individualized instructions. This particular system of LCI is based upon the principles of individualized instruction and here in this particular system the instructional process is controlled by the individual learner himself or herself. So basically the learners study what they wish to study by developing their own sequence of learning. Each learner is free to put questions to the teacher and take the own time for learning the things of whatever is to be studied. So in this way, we can say that being a pure learner-centered and learner-dominated instructional method, this particular system provides better individualized instruction to all types of learners. So this is the first advantage. The second advantage of LCI is that it helps in proper identification of the initial behavior of the learner. We all know that LCI rests on the basic assumption that the learner is one of the best source of information about himself or herself. Here, the learner basically is the basic source of identifying the basic potential or initial behavior. And therefore, it is the learner himself or herself who is the best judge to decide from where this learner should start the journey of learning for achieving the desired objectives. And since this system of learner control instruction, basically the control over the entire process of instruction, including the passing judgment over the initial behavior of the learner, rests with the learner. It is not with anybody else. Even the teacher is not uh, actually deciding about the initial behavior. The entire control of the initial behavior is in the hands of the learner. So the proper identification of the learner's initial behavior can be made in a better way which can be um, seen here in this particular mode of instruction and it is not visible or it is not seen in any other mode of instruction. This learner controlled instruction is very much helpful in setting the meaningful objectives. 
basically what we can see that the learner is at a particular point and this learner controlled instruction takes the learner from that point to the other point where the learner is willing to reach according to his or her own needs interests and abilities and also basic basically the path of the learning is also decided in due course of this learning process and here we can see that the learner is already familiar with the initial behavior so this learner can take a better judgment about the terminal behavior and accordingly he or she can play a significant role in setting the meaningful and realistic instructional objectives in front of him or her and this is the reason why quite purposeful and self satisfying objectives are set in the learner controlled instruction for directing the teaching learning activities so we have seen that this is uh, basically this advantage is related to the setting up of the meaningful objectives which is entirely again in the hands of the learner so let us see that what are the other advantages although this advantage is considered to be very important because setting of objectives is something which which is going to decide the entire course of action of uh, the teaching learning process the next is that the learner controlled instruction basically provides opportunity to develop own sequence of learning what what do we mean by own sequence of learning basically how the learner is willing to go ahead with the learning process in case of the traditional teaching and the programmed instruction we have seen that they do not provide any scope to the individual learner for deciding the sequence of learning basically the learner is forced to study what has been planned or programmed by the teacher or a programmer in those cases where we were talking about the programmed instruction or maybe the traditional teaching methodologies but in case of the learner controlled instruction the entire scene is different here it is the learner who generates the learning sequences for his or her own learning to achieve the set objectives which are again being set by the learner himself or herself so to provide such freedom for deciding own path of learning to the individual learner it is somehow a very rare phenomenon and we can find this rare phenomenon happening in the learner controlled instruction so this is the next advantage which we can find here in the learner controlled instruction learner controlled instruction maintains proper interest and motivation in this case of learner controlled instruction the instructional process is fully learner centered nothing is thrust upon or forced upon the learner from outside the learner is the key person in taking all decisions about his or her own welfare so here the learner studies what actually is the wish of the learner so this person is free to ask any question or take any help from the teacher in the pursuit of learning and such free and encouraging environment basically makes this learner very much enthusiastic and energetic and this is somehow uh, the process where because the entire autonomy is in the hands of the learner so the interest and the motivation of this learner in the teaching learning process actually stays from the beginning till the end so you can even think of the situation where the entire process is being controlled by you so the interest the motivation is going to stay with you throughout the entire process so this is again a very important advantage of the learner controlled instruction then the learner controlled instruction helps in solving various classroom problems in case of the learner controlled instruction uh, here it is basically 
meant for the individual learner. It is controlled and directed by the learner himself or herself. The learner studies what he or she wishes and plans to learn and to get the learning experiences according to the needs, to the interest and the abilities. The interest and motivation is sustained throughout the learning process. And the learner is free to satisfy the curiosity by asking questions. And this learner uh, is actually going to get the desired assistance whenever the assistance is required or needed it is not like that the that the assistance or uh, will be uh, will be provided at any sort of time basically whenever it is required the student can ask for the assistance so whenever the assistance is needed from uh, the student the teacher is going to provide that particular part of uh, assistance and in such a stimulated work environment it is very hard to think about any problem that can arise on account of the students lack of responsibility and maybe in few cases the mischief so these are the things which are lacking which are not we, we cannot find in the learner controlled instruction and this is the reason why the learner control instruction is characterized by the presence of self-imposed or you can say the self-discipline discipline system in the class giving no hassle to the teacher for wasting his time or her time in the control of the classroom because every student is actually in control of himself or herself on uh, on his or her own uh, by the self-imposed discipline. The other classroom problems of the teacher, which is concerning with the assignment or maybe the project work, the homework or any sort of drill, they are also uh, very automatically, all these problems are also automatically eliminated in such uh, kind of instruction because here the instructional activities are planned and sequenced by the learner himself or herself. So there will be no any uh, kind of uh, um, a lot of uh, homework or in a lot of assignments uh, which are uh, for the evaluation in front of the teacher. So there is there will be no any piling up of all those assignments because the learner is basically controlling the entire uh, process so whenever this learner is ready to go for any sort of assessment the learner will go ahead and then uh, it can be either evaluated or assessed by the system or even by the teacher so it is something which is uh, basically depending on the uh, need and the interest of the learner the learner controlled instruction helps in the establishment of harmonious relationship between the teachers and the students. In case of the traditional teaching methodology, basically we, we have seen that this uh, traditional system is at times uh, convicted on the account of its incapability of developing cordial and harmonious relationship between the teachers and the students. The students often uh, have got uh, fearful or uh, they are fear, uh, having fear with their teachers and remain quiet uh, or maybe uh, they hesitate in asking any of the questions. But in contrary to the traditional system, in case of the learner controlled instruction, we can see that this system provides ample freedom to the students for asking questions and they can ask the questions by the time they are satisfied so they can ask question to satisfy their curiosity and proceeding on the learning path they do their studies in consultation with their teachers getting their due, due attention guidance and timely assistance and we can even see that here as a piece of instruction, nothing is forced on the learners by the teacher. 
the teacher is most democratic and helpful in the system of NCI. And the students also pay uh, due regard and they consider the teacher as quite indispensable in the matter of helping them uh, for, for the purpose of uh, completing their learning activities. So it is not like that the teacher is not given any importance. The teacher is given the due regard and importance, but the point is that the teacher's role only uh, occurs once the student is willing to, uh, to get some sort of help from the teacher. So in this way, the learner controlled instruction provides opportunities and environment for a healthy interaction between the teacher and the taught. The next advantage is related to the inculcation of good habits. In case of the learner control instruction, here the instructional control basically is carried out by the efforts of the individual learner. The learner is responsible for developing the learning sequences and organizing the learning structure according to his or her own abilities. It is his or her individualized efforts that are responsible for the realization of the set objectives. Here, uh, we can see that the learner asks questions from the teacher for the satisfaction of the curiosity and advancement of the entire study or the process of teaching learning. All these activities provide the learner a lot of opportunity for the removal of unnecessary fear, shyness, any sort of hesitation or any inhibition. And this creates an environment for the development of proper self-confidence, habit of independent self-study, persistence and hard work. And this learner is going to solve a lot of problems because he or she is solving all the problems of himself or herself on his own or her own in due course of the study. So the inculcation of the problem solving ability, originality, initiative taking, creativity and many more of these good adjectives uh, can be added here which are going to be inculcated in due course of the learner controlled instructions which can be seen as the inculcation of the good habits. Then saving time and energy is another advantage which we can uh, add here in the list of advantages of the learner controlled instruction. The system is fully learner centered. The learner is already motivated to learn and remain interested and absorbed in the study throughout the learning process. And we can see that the learning sequence, uh, what is to be studied and uh, how the study is going to take place. So the content and even the way in which the study is going to take, uh, to take place is planned by the learner himself or herself and therefore no time and efforts are wasted in making the learner to learn or decide what course is suitable for him or her to help in the realization of the set objectives. So we can see that there is because everything is to be decided by him or her whether uh, the, which course is to be taken, what would be the way of uh, going ahead with the learning process. Although the teacher is always there, whenever this uh, person is having any issue with the process of selecting or setting the objectives, the teacher can assist him or her on demand. But the point is that everything is to be done by him or her only. So the results of the experimental studies, which are conducted for comparing the outcomes of the traditional teaching methodologies and the learner controlled instructions uh, have, have actually uh, gone in the favor of the, the, the learner controlled instruction, showing that uh, the system helps in saving the time and energy of both the learner and the teacher 
for the realization of the set instructional objectives. So this is again a very uh, perfect advantage which we can see uh, to be uh, like uh, having by this learner controlled instruction system. Then we can also see that the learner controlled instruction helps in gaining useful and practical learning experiences. We have seen that uh, uh, here in the learner controlled instruction, what is desired by the learner is studied. And there is a wide scope for gaining rich practical experiences. By the nature, uh, the students try to take interest in concrete things rather than the, uh, the studies of the abstract principles. In the practical experiences, uh, basically, uh, they take they, the the students take much interest than uh, taking interest in the theory. So they are very much interest, interested to do all those uh, practical experiments and the practical getting the practical experiences. They are less interested in studying the theories, and that is why the learning sequences, which is uh, which is the part of the structuring of the learner controlled instruction, help the learners very much in gaining the useful and practical life experiences. So this is again a very important advantage. So now we have seen a lot of advantages, but as every system has got uh, many advantages and many limitations, so the system of LCI is also having some of the limitations or the uh, disadvantages so let us see what are those basically uh, when we are dis uh, discussing about the uh, LCI's uh, uh, good points or the advantages we have seen that it is considered to be a very good method for the individualized instruction however there are number of difficulties and limitations when we actually try to apply the system in a uh, classroom setup in basically an actual classroom setup. So what are those limitations? What are those difficulties which can be faced in the application of these uh, this particular method of learner controlled instructions? Let us try to see one by one. So the first limitation lies in catering to the needs of the individual learners. Basically in theory it is uh, very well uh, said that in case of learner controlled instruction each individual learner will be free to develop his or her own sequence of learning like we have seen in the socratic dialogue he or she will be putting the question to the teacher the way this learner is willing to study a given topic since no two learners are alike each student present in the class or a group will have his or her own sequence of learning and set of questions to be put to the teacher. Each of them will need to material, uh, basically facilities, the material facilities also according to the requirements and the abilities. In the practical sense, meeting of such needs and requirements is very very difficult it's neither feasible nor possible therefore the learner controlled instruction may seriously fall in trouble for being used as a method of individualized instruction so it seems to be highly useful in theory but once it comes to practice and especially in case of a populated country such a populated country like our country and where we have seen that uh, the number of good teachers are also not too much it will be difficult i can't say that it's impossible but it will be very difficult for the teacher to cater to the individual needs of each and every student if the method is applied so this can be a limiting factor or one of the limitations of the learner controlled instruction. Then on the account of the role of the students, 
again the system of learner controlled instruction may be having a lot of issues a lot of limitations the learner controlled instruction advocates that the total teaching learning process from the beginning till the end should be controlled by the students by playing a leading role the students have to decide the sequence of learning experiences and they are very much free to put any question to the teacher for gaining the learning experiences whatever they are willing to get in terms of a topic which is at the uh, at this moment uh, being taught or being learned so the teacher's presence is there only to respond to the questions asked by the students or rendering assistance desired by the students such a type of uh, freedom which is somehow a uh, little difficult to handle by the children or by the students in the course of learning may generate a host of problems children are yet children we all know that when we are in the classroom it is at times very difficult to control the uh, the students when they all start asking questions at times there is there is a chorus of questions in the classroom and it becomes very difficult for the teacher to handle so we can't expect from them to carry on the entire responsibility of the instructional process they may fail in sequencing their learning task or may not be able to ask relevant questions for stimulating the teacher or not be able to understand and grasp the response which is given by the teacher in the uh, in in the response of that question which is asked so there is also a danger that they may waste their time and energy in the pursuit of unnecessary and irrelevant things by doing uh, some sort of leisure work from the uh, in between the learning process which may uh, be not the part of the actual path of learning so in this way the learner controlled instruction may not come to its expectation on account of the uh, this particular limitation uh, where the role of the student is to be seen that how the learner is going to play the part and uh, somehow it is considered to be a limitation which is suffered on the part of the student here in the system of learner control instruction so not only the students we can even see the problem or the difficulty on the part of the teacher in the learner controlled instruction uh, we have seen that this is a highly individualized instructional method and here the individual learner is to be helped by the teacher for realizing the learning objectives in a very much individualized way or you can say that the way in which the student is willing to uh, to carve the objectives so the individual learner decides the sequence of learning and the the learner is free to ask questions and take required help from the teacher so it becomes a tedious task for the teacher to satisfy the needs of each and every individual learner he or she must have a thorough knowledge and skill to provide responses to every question of the different learners and uh, not only uh, answering the questions basically in terms of guiding the students in a very unique way in which they desire and also to assist them in every sequence of learning uh, and all those activities which which they do for gaining the theoretical and practical experiences and above all basically they uh, the teacher is going to dance on the tunes of the pupils or the students so without having authority and control on the instructional process it will be very difficult for the teacher 
to actually play the responsible role in this uh, teaching learning process, which is very much uh, created on the lines of learner controlled instruction if the teacher is not having appropriate uh, uh, control on his or her own learning or uh, the the content uh, the authority over the content and even on the methodology so in the practical sense it is hard to achieve or to get such teachers who can work uh, with the uh, in ke keeping in mind the required success and uh, in in their absence it is not possible basically because these this type of teachers are very less in number in our society and uh, we still have to work a lot so that we can create a list of teachers who are uh, willing to work in this uh, way where they can assist the individualized instruction process. So in, in the absence or in the lack of uh, this uh, kind of excellent teachers, it is not possible to make use of learner controlled instruction in a proper way. So this is again one of the limitations where we find that uh, the teachers, the number of teachers uh, who are required to undergo this process of learner controlled instruction is still very less and uh, we will be in a position to uh, go ahead with this learner control instruction only if we get a long list of teachers who can manage this process. Then this system is not practicable in the present educational setup. And this is something which can be said because we are living in a country with a huge population. LCI or the learner controlled instruction requires a different setup and teaching learning environment, which is other than the prevalent uh, system, which is uh, the part of our present educational system. It does not require any predetermined or pre programmed learning experiences, which means that there should not be any fixed curriculum or syllabus for the learners to learn and the teachers to teach. The teacher-centered teaching learning situation also need drastic change. So how can we expect individualized learning, which can meet the requirement of each and every learner? So it is very difficult to imagine the individualized learner learning fully controlled and monitored by the learners themselves in such a crowded or such a populated and very less equipped classrooms of our country in most of the cases i'm not saying that every classroom is less equipped or less resourceful but most of the classrooms are lacking with the resources and the the readiness for the learner controlled instruction. So the needed tutorial system and individual attention on every learner by a single teacher is neither feasible nor practicable in the condition in which we are in right now. Uh, or you can say that maybe uh, because of the population, we are in this particular condition. But this is something which is true for us. So. Uh, we, we can say that the prevalent curriculum, the textbooks, and the examination system cannot match the requirements of the learner-controlled instruction. And in such a circumstance, it is quite difficult to introduce this type of instruction in totality in our classrooms, in the educational setup in which we are in, because we have to deal with a big population so it is it will be very much difficult for allowing the uh, the students to decide on all the things which they have to do it will be difficult for a system to sustain and uh, to go ahead with taking up such a huge list of students so we can see that somehow the observation which we have made in terms of the learner controlled instruction 
we can say that the system suffers from some serious limitations for being introduced as a method of instruction right now in our classrooms. Maybe population uh, or uh, uh, the strength which we have got in the classroom, the strength of the students is one of the reasons. So these defects and limitations do not lie with the method itself. We, uh, we can't say that the method is having some problem, but because we are still not equipped for the method. So we can say that it becomes a difficult uh, uh, point for us to observe this method. So there is no doubt that it is the only method that can provide individualized instruction in a true and complete sense. And moreover, it is a very novel and new kind of idea and it is also an innovative uh, methodology. It's a very uh, uh, kind of great innovation in the field of instruction. So there is every possibility of, uh, uh, of making or you can say that uh, of being this uh, uh, learner control instruction uh, being uh, seen as a as a kind of excellent system by the teachers and the educational authorities but still the implementation has got a lot of issues so the system prevalent as such cannot meet its requirements and therefore there is a need of change of attitude on the part of its users and also in the teaching learning setup for its being um, like if we want to get the system of learner controlled instruction uh, being adopted as a method of instruction in the uh, in the country which is too much populated like uh, the like our country because we have to educate each and every child so this method although it is too good but it will be not very much practicable so the learner should get his or her learning path according to his interests and abilities. And in case of uh, LCI, if LCI can serve this purpose well, there should not be any hesitation for trying it to a certain extent along with other traditional and progressive methods. So what, what can be concluded that maybe we can go with the traditional methods and uh, with the other uh, progressive methods and to a certain extent we can go with the learner control instruction also we can see that how we can even test we can do a lot of researches to see that how it can be used in the situations where we can utilize the uh, this uh, sort of excellent way of providing instruction uh, which is controlled by the learner and if we have to uh, offer it to a huge list of uh, students and um, where the teachers are also uh, not much in number, how we are going to implement it. So there can be case studies, there can be pilots which we can, uh, we can uh, do and uh, we can do researches and we can conclude on the, we can get the results and on the basis of those results, the uh, the educationist can be given the suggestions where they can, they can actually take the help of the learner controlled instruction to make the improvement, the due improvement in the educational system in the future. So we have studied about the different advantages and limitations of the learner controlled instruction. Uh, we have seen that the learner controlled instruction is known for its numerous uh, contributions, numerous advantages, and we have seen many of them. Uh, the notable uh, advantages uh, were, can be considered to be that the uh, learner controlled instruction provides better individualized instruction. It helps in proper identification of the initial behavior of the learner. It helps in setting meaningful objectives, providing opportunity to develop own sequence of learning, maintaining proper interest and motivation, establishing uh, the harmonious relationship between the teachers and the taught, 
and it also solves various classroom problems it helps in the inculcation of good habits and it saves time and energy and also it is used for gaining useful and practical learning experiences so the system is no doubt a very excellent and kind of advantageous system but with all these advantages the learner controlled instruction is described to be suffering from a number of difficulties and limitations too and what are these limitations the a few of them uh, were discussed in the session and we have seen that these limitations include the difficulty in catering the needs of the individual learners then the difficulty on the account of the role of the students limitation on the part of the teachers and also uh, being an impracticable uh, method of instruction in the present educational setup where we have to educate a large number of students and uh, if we try to implement such a system we require a lot of researches a lot of studies and on the part of these researches as a result we can uh, go for seeing that how we can include this uh, system which is very much uh, useful in the present scenario in our educational setups so this was all about today these are few of those references and the suggested for the readings which you can use for knowing more about the system of learner controlled instruction this is all for today we will see each other in another session another time thank you for today dear learners you were watching a video on the emerging technologies and issues in educational technology and in this lecture we discussed about the advantages and limitations of learner controlled instruction or lci this video lecture was recorded by faculty at home during the homebound situation of covid-19 pandemic using minimal technical resources technical errors if any are unintentional and may please be ignored for any queries with regard to this lecture or broadcast kindly send your email to techsupport@dth.ac.in thank you so much